The video you have just clicked on and are about to watch spans five days. Five incredible days of life. Guys, we have just gotten a pretty special package in the mail. My 100,000 subscriber, Black from YouTube. I have to block this off because it shows our address. Oh, is my package done? Uh, it's, it's for Nick. That's for me. It's for me. It's for... That's in the YouTube said I was going to get that. That's yep. for, for the mouth. For the mouth? Sorry. That's for the mouth. Sorry. This is mouth? Nick Alfieri. Oh, this... Alfieri, mouth YouTube channel. This is oh, right there. This is That's... yours. You'll get there. Congrats. Yeah. Congrats. Okay. Good job. <laughs> this is from John YouTube himself. <laughs> The John founder. H YouTube. <laughs> John H. YouTube. Nicely packaged. It feels like an Apple product. Oh, they give me a letter. Just how far? That's really cool. Congratulations on your subscriber milestone. We are honored to take part in recognizing your achievement. We want your experience to be exceptional. This award was inspected and packaged with care by Rick. Thanks, Rick. <laughs> Is this actually signed? No, it's not. No, it's, it's photocopied from Susan Wojcicki. The, oh, that is sick. Wow. Great box. It's heavier than I thought. Oh, nice. Made out of real silver. Wow. Oh, there's a smudge on it. That's really cool. We did it, guys. 100,000. Took seven years. So, slow and steady wins the race. Can I hold it? Yeah. Go in my room and touch hand sanitizer. Do it now. I have a thing right on my bedstand. You disgusting monster. Get your dirty paws on it. Mikey, likey. Whoa, that is sick. Do you like it? To a brave young man. It's just a mouth. <laughs> they got the M and M mixed up. I worked incredibly hard to grow my YouTube channel and I'm proud of this milestone and I want to thank everybody who's watched my videos. Friday morning, the Schwäbischel Unicorns got on the bus to drive to Frankfurt for the German Bowl. But soon after our departure, I realized something terrible. I had forgotten my pre-made special dinner that I cook and eat before each game. Luckily, Laura was coming up to Frankfurt later in the day, so I texted her to see if she could pick it up. But, we didn't know if it would be possible for her to bring it to our team hotel later. I was very worried about my dinner. We arrived at the stadium for a little walkthrough to get used to the environment. We, it's sold out, bro. There's gonna be like three, four K. <laughs> and here you see James Slack saving his be real for a cool moment. So was he even being real? Oh, this is a cool shot. And then that's the thing. I'm not being very real. Yeah, that's right. We may never know. What's that, J9? We're going to be over there, be over there yeah? Yep. Getting a little, what's up, Cozy? We're getting a little walk around the stadium night before the game. Good chance to, like, get used to the setting and visualize everything here. And it is a awesome stadium. Eintracht Frankfurt's home stadium. The stadium sucks. <laughs> There's an intruder at the stadium. His name's Mike Gentilly. He broke in. He's eating the grass. <laughs> Sir, no eating the grass. <laughs> He's grazing. He's grazing. It's all right. Get off me. Yeah, for all of you. Keep walking. Keep walking. It looks incredible. Do I make it look natural? Yeah, you're doing great. Just keep. Yeah, there you go. There, Destiny with the point. That's great. Nice. Okay. Oh, double point. There it is. And that's art. Got it. Later that evening, I was able to coordinate with Laura and my mom, who had just landed in Frankfurt. They finally met and brought the food to me at our team hotel. Hey, Mom. I forgot my chicken and potatoes. Yeah, we had to go. <laughs> I and Where we were the typical loud Americans in the lobby. <laughs> there he is. Yeah, we're getting you more screen time on the vlogs. That's how I felt. Yeah, I know I just knew everybody. But gee. No, he was vindicated. He didn't. It wasn't. It wasn't. I that all As soon as it went missing, I was like, it was probably It was Javi. Of course. We had some final team meetings.
And then I ate my magical traditional pregame meal and went to bed. After heartbreaking losses in our last two German Bull appearances, our team put together a great team win and once again became the champions of Germany. Sore as hell and exhausted from the night before, we got in the car for a little trip to Strasbourg. Mikey got such a culture shock when we, when we were at our house and we had the little tiny red one. Oh yeah, yeah. He had to, I think he had to sit in this oh, one yeah. time behind, yeah. like, like, he's like sitting like this, yeah. Like, oh yeah, it's great! Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Laura said we're gonna take the big car and then we came in this car and it was not big to the American. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna get something out of the trunk. Okay, Mike, sure. We got some gas station butter pretzels and we are on the way to Strasbourg. Mm. Mikey and Ma's first time. Yeah, Parle de France. Mikey and Ma's first time being in. Ma, you've never been to France, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh. France, we come from France. France. Three years of France. I know. I'm high French? school French in high school. Ma, are you good? Here we go. Oh. Ma. Links? Yes. Uh, <laughs> Uh, well, while my fam, my mom is here in Europe, we decided to go to this really cool, <laughs> special European cafe. <laughs> Nick needs uh, Mikey needs a chili. Starbucks. <laughs> yeah. I was impressed how Mikey spoke German to the guy. Really? Thanks, what did Mikey say? He, he understood no English, and I don't know what he said. Mike, what'd you say? I said, uh, I asked for this. I, I don't know what I said. I, don't know. I, I blacked said, out. <laughs> wow. It, uh, <laughs> fluent in German. And, and then he would ask like how many. I could tell he was asking how many. He was counting on his fingers the oh, guy. Nice. But then Mikey knew to say whatever but number I knew it was. a number. <laughs> Seven months in Germany. Five. Good job. Way to go, Mike. Laura explained to my mom the classic German Sunday problem that shocks Americans. Some stores who are open longer, longer than eight. <laughs> okay. And um also, I think some are open on Sundays, but not in Bavaria. <laughs> not in Bavaria. <laughs> Bavaria at all. No. But it used to be even worse. Now we're cro here's the Rhine River, oh, and we're going okay, yeah. into oh. France. Everyone's luggage, and then Mikey's luggage. <laughs> For the environment. <laughs> now, this isn't a comprehensive video of Strasbourg. Check out my video from the city last year if you'd like to see more details about this awesome city. I highly recommend visiting. All right, we parked and now we are walking to the Hotel Cathedral. How do you say it? What? Hotel Cathedral? Cathedral. Right. <laughs> cathedral. Oh. oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. Oh. So our hotel's right here. I know. Look cool. I had no idea. Yeah. No idea that was even possible. Yeah. Look at this. Look at some intricate. I know. It's in, it's one of the coolest churches. Wow. <laughs> yeah, you can go inside. Yeah, we can go inside. We headed to get some traditional flamkuchen from the region. Yeah, flamkuchen. Time for this little snack. Oh yeah, Ma, you had the European Fanta. Get it. You have to get it. I have to get it. I love. I really love it. Is it different? I saw it. Different. Yes. Yes. 
it's how does American Fanta taste? Just um, probably sweeter. <laughs> yeah, it's more sugary. It's sugary. <laughs> and it's orange, orange. It smells good. Flammkuchen. And the Flammkuchen was, of course, painfully delicious. <laughs> Merci. I like. <laughs> Sir, please keep your pants on. I'm American, I take my pants off. It's okay, it's Europe, you're allowed to take your pants off. Everybody is just vibing on this beautiful Strasbourg Sunday. And we are also vibing. There's mom, vibing. I'm vibing. She's vibing. Yeah. But then my, uh, my friend and I and got both as a member. Uh -huh, uh, like a member. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. So That's really that sweet. That was one of the best memories I've had. It was so cool. And now you got a necklace. Now I got a necklace. Great. <laughs> <laughs> Treats like this is all the little cartoons. I know, it's such a good vibe. I kind of want to get a coffee. Do you want a coffee? No, I had like three coffees a day. <laughs> a loser. I am demanding that we go find a coffee right now because we get a little afternoon sleepiness. I eventually found a coffee, not from Starbucks this time, don't worry. And then Ma told us about how Mikey used to throw tantrums on his bike as a little kid. His bike along with me. Going really fast, and then he does great. And then we get to the hill on Late Lot that goes up by the Garcia's house. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> what, you throw a tantrum? Every time. <laughs> he knew right where we were going. Every time he'd throw a tantrum and then throw his bike off. <laughs> <laughs> you are such a brat. <laughs> he still behaves that way today. We are walking now to dinner at a restaurant called uh, Uncle Freddy. And that's just how Mikey walks in Go France. <laughs> Monday, we drove back to Schwäbisch Hall just in time for our market plot celebration in the city now known as Unicorn Town. Come on, good, good, good. good. Five. Look at that. Look at that. You know? And there's another one right there. Corns are getting ready for the little celebration of the market plots. Without a doubt.